Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going back in time a little bit. Now, on screen right now, you guys can see the Any level, and when I showed this in a video recently, you guys were like, oh my god, I haven't seen this truck in forever, and I miss it so much. It was a really, really cool truck and a really, really cool build, but... The trucks that we're going to be using in this video are going to be a whole heck of a lot crazier than this thing. But we're using this to set the tone because like I said, we're going back in time a little bit. Now the map that we're on right now is actually the old Whistlin' Diesel's Ranch. And once again, I have not been on this map in forever. And really, I mean, at this point, he has a completely different farm, a completely different property. But, but the reason why we are on this map is because this map is going to be the most accurate we can get in this game to the place where the vehicle in question was actually put together and tested. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up to it by driving over to another section of this map picking up sort of the first iteration of the ultimate build that we're going to be showing at near the end, and then we're going to be driving it back, and then we're going to be finding what lurks behind the barn. Now, when I say what lurks behind the barn, you guys probably already have a little bit of an idea in your head of what I'm talking about, but you guys, I think, might be a little bit blown away when you actually get to see it in-game. I know for a fact that I was absolutely just, like, it was astonishing to me because th I, the words that came to my mind initially were legitimately no one has done this in SnowRunner ever before. And I think that's pretty much what everybody thought when Whistle and Diesel actually did this in real life. So here is the GMC on wagon wheels. Now we're going to go ahead and swap into that as part of the progression. So now let's go ahead and fire this thing up. This thing is really fast compared to the any level. Very, very, very fast. And now we're going to head back towards the farm itself. But before we do that, we've got this nice little nifty open field out here. And I'm curious to see how good of a donut I can make this thing do. Come on. Let's see. Oh, well, it just wants to drift. But actually, well, it kind of like, it's almost like it hooks its way back around again. All right, I'm just going to cut the wheel and mat the throttle. And if I do that, it digs. Yeah, if I do that, it digs. And then, okay, it'll start to slide and then dig in. So if I counter steer right when it gets going, like right when the rear end starts to come around, oop, not terrible, but it could be better. Well, actually, that was pretty good, actually. We pretty much, like, did an entire, like, 180 on that one. Now that we've got a little bit of dirt on this truck, we can head back towards the house. Now, should I take the road or should I not worry about it? How about I just not worry about it? And instead of using the driveway, I'll use the fences. There, there we go. There we go. Now we've made this truck a little bit more realistic as to the time that this was. But we're not done yet. We have to go around the back of the barn. Because like I said before, the surprise lurking around the back of the barn really isn't much of a surprise at all probably at this point. But we're going to sneak around back and... Yep. <laughs> Are you guys aware of what it is yet? Yeah, so this happened. Now, as you can see right here, I wanted to bring this version of this truck out so you could see the difference between the sort of normal-ish wagon wheels and the 20-foot wagon wheels. Now, can I drive underneath? Oh my god, I can. I can drive in between the wagon wheels and underneath the entire truck. What the heck is that? That is ridiculous. That is absolutely freaking ridiculous. Look at the... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and park next to it. I'm going to go ahead and stop and shut the engine off. And we need a little bit of free cam right now because let's just get a look at these things side by side. Yeah. So this is probably what? I don't know, like four feet of spacers connected to a giant metal plate connected to like some of the world's largest wagon wheels with like metal reinforcements and gigantic bolts. I mean, okay. Now, granted, when this thing actually drove in real life, it only drove a couple of feet before the wheels actually tore themselves to pieces and the truck just fell flat on the ground. But, since this is SnowRunner, the wood's not going to collapse. So, that's actually quite convenient, because that means we can actually drive it. And that means we can actually drive it around. But again, I also want to see this from the front. Oh my god. It's literally, like, more than half the height of the barn. What the heck? Oh my god, that is wild. Look at it. 
you can literally just like literally fly your drone right up underneath it and just look at everything underneath the truck. It's freaking beautiful. All right, so now we are going to stop talking about it and get into it and drive it. Now, you would need a ridiculously massive ladder to get in this thing. And when they did this in real life, I don't believe they even had anybody in it to begin with because it was just, like, too risky. But let's go ahead and jump into it. And like I said, you can actually use interior view in here and you can see the giant wooden wagon wheels like right next to you in the window. The mirrors are folded in because otherwise they'd just be completely ripped off. And I cannot wait to fire this thing up. All right, firing it up in three, two, one. Let's get it started. <laughs> it sounds exactly the same as the other truck because it pretty much is the same truck. But uh, let's go ahead and drive towards the... Oh my god. <laughs> what? There's the scrap pile down there. There's the little pond. I haven't been on this map in forever, but it's given me mad nostalgia. Not only of playing on this map, but of watching Whistler Diesel's old videos. So let me actually back up just a little bit. I'm gonna try and turn this thing. It can barely turn at all, which I feel like is kind of to be expected with this. I mean, I wouldn't have expected it to be something that could really turn in the first place, but let's see how it does through some mud. You know, it's already doing better than I thought it was gonna do. I've gotta admit, it's genuinely already doing better than I thought it was gonna do. What? I thought it was gonna sink into that mud. I guess that mud's not all that deep because it didn't, it didn't even try to sink. All right, I need to turn around. That's like the biggest thing I need to do right now is turn around. And I'll tell you something, in this truck with this setup, it's like a 50 million point turn. There's no way I'm gonna be able to use that ramp because it's just gonna go to the sides of the ramp itself. But I wonder how it'll do in the pond. Let's see, let's find out. Whoa, come on. Are you gonna lose all your power and high? It is, isn't it? I mean, to be fair, it's got a ridiculous amount of resistance with these wheels. Um. So we jumped all the way over the pond. We didn't end up actually, like, driving through it because we jumped all the way over it, but... <laughs> Look at that! That is so crazy. That is so freaking crazy. I mean, it's kind of spinning, actually. Let me see if I can get it to grab grip. Well, it's kind of grabbing some grip. Actually, a little bit better than I thought it was going to. All right, let's make our way out of the pond now. If you would stop spinning, that would be just, like, awesome. That would be absolutely amazing. All right, easy. If you kick the clutch just a little bit, it starts to get into a slide, but I'm really worried I'm going to flip it over. Not that I need to worry about the consequences of that, but... Oh my god. <laughs> what about the deeper pod? Is that any deeper than the other one? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea if this is any deeper than the other one. That's a little bit deeper, but again, it's not like this thing seems to care. Come on. It's like, a, you know what it reminds me of? It genuinely reminds me of like a riverboat. Like, I don't know why. Or like a gigantic, like, I don't even know what those boats are called. But like, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. The boats with the giant rotating paddle wheel that basically like would be literally used to transport people down a river. And maybe, it, maybe it's called a riverboat. Maybe it isn't. But you guys know, you guys know what I'm talking about when I say that. All right, back into automatic mode. Does the mud get any thicker out here? I guess kind of, but again, this thing doesn't really care. Whoa, whoa, that was some weird physics. That was some really, 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 really weird physics, like tremendously weird. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to like actually respond to that. Now I have an idea in mind and we need to get it back to where the barn is in order to sort of like attempt this idea. But I'm very curious as to what would happen if we literally smash this into another truck at blisteringly high speeds. Now, let's go ahead and straighten you up just a tad bit. Just a tad. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to set you right there, shut you off, and we'll repair it when we go to actually drive it again. So I'm going to fly out this way just a little bit. Actually, I think I can fly faster. Yep, there we go. There we go. And I think I'm going to put the vehicle right before the pond. Right before the pond seems to be a perfect place. Perfect place. Maybe a little bit of sarcasm in there. Maybe not. We'll never know. Or maybe we will. We'll have to wait and see. So how about... Uh... I guess how about a wall 
of Cat 770G. Why do we have two in the same spot? Why do we have two in the same spot? I said move. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I literally said move. Back, forward, or not. All right, throw you right there. That'll be good enough. That'll be good enough, I think. And let's see what happens when we smash into those at what is hopefully high speed when we get there. Come on. Come on, go, 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 go. I'm trying to stay on target right now. I'm trying to stay on target really bad. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Um, what? Whoa. Physics? Are you home? Apparently. Wow. Well, that was ridiculous. Um, it actually wasn't the effect that I thought it was going to have. But in order to attempt our next test, we're going to have to switch maps. But when we switch maps, you guys will realize exactly why. Well, for those of you that know where we are already, you understand completely why we had to come here. For those of you that don't know where we are, well, you're about to find out. Firing the truck up, and we are heading out to, well... I was originally going to go to the one on my left, but I think as long as I can successfully complete my 300-point turn, I'll be okay. So, let's go. Easy. And back down to reverse. And back into low again. Eventually, I will be able to turn around. I promise. It's just going to take a moment. A moment and a half. Back, back, back. Forward, forward, forward. Turn, turn, turn. Come on. Eventually, we will make our way to this ramp. It's actually turning a lot more than I thought it was going to turn. Believe me. Come on. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Up the hill. Up the... Come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Sometimes it wants to turn, and other times it just doesn't want to. All right, y'all. This has led up to this moment right here. 20 foot wooden wheels on massive spacers versus the ski jump in three, two, one, go. Easing it over in neutral and come on. Making a run for it. Just letting gravity do its work. These are staying surprisingly straight. Come on. Oh, they're bowing a little bit. Go. Oh my god, this thing flies so well. I, If we land this, if we freaking land this... Oh, it's going to nosedive. Oh, it's going to nosedive back. Whoa! Holy physics did not like that. Physics did not like that at all. I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm fine. Might not be fine. Oh. So that's what happens when you land upside down. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.